I should say. Just short of halfway. And then to Robson. Just pops it back in for Joseph Paulo. Played junior Kiwi. Played six tests for Samoa. And played Australian schoolboy. So what's that make him ineligible for? You? I'm not sure. That's something that has to be cleared up, though. It's just too confusing. Played by Wright. Geez, that was a smart kick from, from Jared Hayne. He was facing the left corner, and at the last minute, he bananas the kick here. Look at that. Look at the body. He's facing to the, to the left corner. Sends Ben Barber over that way, and then kicks it back over that side with the banana kick. What a play. Barber with a scoop from dummy half. He had the big fella with him, Idris. Wherever Ben is, or Jamal is, Vicky Herbert, if you like. Here's a break and a clean break for Hutkinson. They're on their way for the try line. Passes to Reynolds. Reynolds goes away. And Josh Reynolds scores for the Dogs. Something had to break. And it was Parramatta that broke. Lovely. Just attacking the line. Little step, gets the markers going the wrong way. Nice little short pass in behind there. And backs up young Josh Reynolds. Good player, this kid. I like him. And he opens the scoring here at ANZ tonight. Steve Turner taking the conversion of the Josh Reynolds try for Canterbury. A comment on the try from Brad Fittler. Yeah, nice bit of work there by, by the standing hooker, Josh Reynolds. You've got to blame Parramatta's defence, but in conditions like this, you get nice and tight. All good and Paulo had a real big space between them. Hodgkinson found the hole. Then Reynolds backed up like a good little support player he is. That's the way to play in wet weather. Get your small man in a dummy half and change of angles around the rock. There's no use in these conditions throwing big long balls and trying to play around teams. You've got to play back, back through the middle. Oh, the fellow with the... The big mop of hair is Martin Tapau. At the moment, you can see the limping and jumper number 17. He hurt himself. Well, that would seem fairly obvious. But... <laughs> Here's Reynolds and another break in as many minutes for the 17. Eight metres into Parramatta's territory. Barber through. Roberts on. Hodkinson with it. Hodkinson with it. Tackle from the two suspects. Referee's letting it go on. He's no good, that big kid. He's hit the turf back in back play. He's getting plenty of treatment. To power. He's talking about is Roberts with a big up and down. No, Jamal's taken it out of midair, put a kick in. That is brilliant by Canterbury and cleaned up by Horror. What about big Jamal there? Great catch, and then the awareness to put the foot to the ball for the second kick. Up he goes, big Jamal, down he comes, and then just feathers the ball towards the end goal. Some play by, by Jamal. And here is Tapao, back to the 30-metre line. Josh Reynolds, $41, first try scorer. Tapao's gone, Rex. I, I can't believe he ran that far with that injury. He was oh, down in back play with the trainer and gone. And then said, no, leave me alone, I'll be right. And absolutely powered that ball up at 100 mile an hour and stood up and said, no, I'm no good. Well, how much courage was that? Toyota Cup today had to be postponed and moved to Sunday. It'll be played at Wentworth Hills Ring Rose Park at 11.15. Parramatta will play Canterbury at Ring Rose on Sunday. 11-15 would be a good game of football, particularly if we get a little bit of abatement from the rain. That's my old junior ground, Ring Rose Park. I used to love Ring Rose Park. And when he leagues there, a great club. Here's Robson turning it back on the inside for Wasili. Do you ever play at Ring Rose Park, Reynolds? Well, no, I didn't play there, but I used to coach there as the kick gets away from Robson down to Turner. Well, in Westlake and Ronnie Bottles and all those people. Just inside the 30 metre line. And this is David Stagg. They got rid of 
behind Mars and eventually he was taken around the legs by Matua. And now Halitar, they're just keeping it simple, Canterbury, and it's working. And played, and here's another dummy half run, just one pass, now a dummy, then a give, and there's a little opening. Lafay for right and right pursued, he kicks in field, and oh, it's cleaned up, and it's again Justin Horro. He's done really well, this boy, hasn't he? He's got back and covered two kicks now. And this time he comes from the far side of the field. I'll tell you what, this game has changed since young Josh Reynolds come on. He's probing out a dummy half and instigating a lot of indecision in the Parramatta defence around the play the ball area. And look where Horro's come from, the far side of the field. Ben Smith with the big chase and Benji Marshall a couple of weeks ago. Horro with a couple of saves there. And that's Nathan Hindmarsh stuff. 6 0 in favour of Canterbury. That is Tim Lafay in the team in place of Josh Morris, which is an indicator from Jim Dimmick that names don't matter. Ryan will play it right there, 10 away, chance for Canterbury. Here, Hopkinson right now. Roberts to Halitau. Five away. Roberts again, dummies, goes back off his left foot, but he runs back into traffic. Last tackle then for Canterbury. And they go back for a deep pass for Hodkinson to get a kick in. And the jump is on for Barber. Up they go, down they come. And grounded. the ref says it's Paramount and the first goal. In, goal. Line drop out. out again. So this will be number seven for the game. Reading David Genzel's way of getting more commercials away. We'd, we'd make a fortune tonight, Dave, if you get that through. We need a fortune to pay your wage. Dreams might come true if they listen to you. Uh, you're coming to Penrith on Sunday, Rabbits? Absolutely. To watch the Sanyo Penrith Panthers go around at Centre Sta Bet Stadium. What's your two boys? Cassiano. Yeah, the Stewart brothers are up there with, with my other mates, Steve your, Maddow. Your man, Maddow. That's right, my man, Maddow. <laughs> Here it is to Roberts, Roberts to Eastwood. Eastwood up to the 20 metre line. Now Reynolds goes over to Hopkinson. Hopkinson away to Halliter. $41 Reynolds paid with TAB Sports Bet. The best betting corporation in Australia as he tries to repair some damage. Now goes from Roberts back on the inside for, Indr for Idris on the outside inside ball. And Jamal will play it back for Reynolds. Now it comes to Roberts. He goes face ball across the, the, the captain and picks up Laffer. Two and three quarters to go first half. Here's Roberts. That came off hands of Moimoy. And then it's been knocked on by Heimark. Doesn't no matter which face about it. Ball. It's come forward off you. And it's come forward, Nathan. The look of the warrior. Sir, you're kidding. Yeah, you've got to say charge downs. When teams are attacking your line, I, I just don't know about that from Fui Grabs and Troll Hindy in these conditions. That it's was low a hard percentage. Time. I know, I know yeah. what you're saying. It's a low percentage play, the charge down, particularly in that situation. But, so Canterbury with a chance in front of half time, and Roberts is a, a silky smooth player, isn't he? We play it back to Hodkinson, and the world goes to Cassiano. Cassiano held down by Robson as long as he could, and Reynolds cheekily has a lunge. That's how close he got. Played. Oh, he's lost it. That is no, just lost, Josh. Cold, according just to the lost. Alan Shortle and Jared Sutton in charge of this game. This young man, Reynolds, on camera for try score. He played for St George Dragons in juniors, and you'd swear blind ball. How would St. George let him go? But St. George Dragons are in the Belmore district, aren't they? That's the name of the junior club that he comes from, Josh Reynolds. And he's lost it cold, according to the referee. Looking at that, you've got to agree. And the percentages have leveled out, possession-wise, to 50-50. And they've both now had 21 uses of the football. There was a massive gap there where Parramatta at one stage had six more uses. 
Eels have completed 16 from 21. Bulldogs 14 from 21. So everything is starting to level out, except the scoreboard. 6 nil in favour of Canterbury. 40 seconds of the first half to go. And the number six, Jared Hay. Plenty of chances early. They had a mile of opportunities. Robson, but I've got to say the Canterbury defence was excellent. High kick, Barber takes it, doesn't leave the ground, doesn't let it bounce. Away from Heinmars, got it on, keeping the witness. And uh, he was pulled down. 30 metres out. They've got just a few seconds left for David Stagg to take the tackle. And uh, this will be the last play. Siren in the background. Five tackles indicated. Roberts is put down. Tackled eventually by Robson. So at halftime, just one try. Josh Reynolds at the 29th minute returned a $41 dividend on TAB Sportsbet, converted by Turner, and it takes us to the to the break with Canterbury leading.